Hey loves, Jay here with your March to April tarot predictions for Pisces. And if you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, cross watchers are welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so you don't miss your final outcome. If you're looking to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading, so let's tap in and see what is coming up for you during this time frame here, Pisces. I'm hearing some of you are coming out of your element, coming out of your shadow. Interesting. We have the Eight of Pentacles here in the center of the deck. Hmm, interesting. You have been working diligently at something, crafting something crafting something is what I'm hearing and I feel like you're looking into something a little bit more um, whether you, this is some of you are going back to school starting a business working on a project here thinking of uh, trying to conceive that's coming up for some of you as well but it feels like something that you're looking at with a close eye okay and some of you could be looking at yourself looking at your relationship looking at your finances as well uh, Pisces I forgot I almost forgot to mention I do have a bonus channel for you so if you are looking for all Pisces readings check out my bonus channel at Pisces energy it is uh, I'll have the information in the description box below let me clear this up for you all uh, the information will be in the description box below and I'll probably link it somewhere at the top for you as well so it's your Pisces both bonus channel Check out the Pisces season readings. You get um, weekly readings there as well. So we are doing our thing on that channel. All right. So I'm going to get you all your cards out. We're going to clarify each of these for this time frame. March 10th through March through April 20th. Okay. All right. Let's see what's coming up for my beautiful Pisceans. Most recently... Pisces, you know, we just pulled that eight of pentacles. Now we have the nine of pentacles here. So there's something that you've been looking into, working on, that is bringing abundance. If it hasn't already, then that is showing up for you or has shown up for you in this most recent energy here. So you're focused on um, lounging. I'm hearing lounging, relaxing, not putting too much effort and time into something, whether that may be a relationship or a business that you're working on or a job. I do feel like you're in this place of enjoying the fruits of your labor here. Some of you, this may be an energy of you may be coming up on, you may you may have thought about being single lately or you are now single. Maybe you have just transitioned out of a relationship. But it definitely feels like something has come to a close for you, Pisces. I'm going to clarify each of these cards for you. So let's hop into some clarifiers for this. See what's coming up for this Nine of Pentacles. All right, All right. why is this Nine of Pentacles here for Pisces? All right, we have the Four of Pentacles. So Pisces, this is, a lot, this is a lot of energy around what you're manifesting in your life here. So some of you are in a position where you're feeling a little bit more secure in something, a relationship or in your finances most recently. You may be in this energy of now being able to invest and save because you've been working on something and it has definitely paid off for you. So apply this however it's going to fit for you, whether that be in career or in love. But something that you have been investing to investing in is now taking off. There's now some gain from that. So you're able to sort of sit back and enjoy the fruits of your labor here. I'm also hearing self-love is very important. So some of you are indulging in taking yourselves on trips, celebrating yourself, which you should. This is Pisces season, so why not Pisces? You also have a uh, new moon in Pisces that is coming up on March the 10th. Okay, so Pisces, be sure to check out your bonus channel because I will be posting a new, uh, posting a new moon reading there for you. Okay. We also have a full car. So this definitely makes me feel like this is something new for you guys. Maybe you guys have just stepped out of a relationship or you stepped into a new job or left a job. It definitely feels like a new energy that is that most recently some of you have experienced. I kept hearing weird, okay? So I don't know if some of you are being called weird or you're doing weird things or maybe 
when I'm saying weird things, you're doing things outside of what your norm may be. So you may be trying something different. It may, come, it may seem weird to you initially, or it may not seem weird to you at all. It may seem weird to other people, but I feel like you're trying something out of your element. For some of you, this may be, you know, really um, because you're so gifted and, and intuitive and empathic and very conscious and spiritual. Maybe you're trying something, building a business, a, a faith-based business, a spiritual business around something that you're learning, something that you're loving, and you're investing that energy into yourself. So now you're in this position of being able to help others. So it feels like that. I'm also hearing artistry that's coming up for you. So maybe you are, you've, you've delved into painting most recently. Um, drawing something that has given you some sort of outlet, but it feels like something that you can teach. It also feels like something that is lucrative for you. I, I do feel, Pisces, that you don't have to put a lot of work and effort into this. And it, it it's probably because you've already been working at this and now you're just sort of sitting back and enjoying it. So it does feel like a nice flow that is coming in for um, for you guys most recently. We have that nine of swords. So whatever this was most recently, it was something that you put a lot of time and energy into. You, it, de it definitely seems stressful. We have the number nine, the nine of pentacles and the nine of swords. It definitely, you know, puts you in this place of like, can I do this? Am I worthy of this? Sort of questioning yourself, stressing, giving yourself anxiety about something. But it definitely feels like if you have not experienced this gain, this nine of pentacles energy here, this is definitely that is coming up for you here. But most recently, this is something that you have experienced. This could have been a re revelation or an actual experience. It makes me feel like it is an actual physical experience for you, Pisces, because we have the Nine of Pentacles and we also have the Four of Pentacles here for you. And remember that Eight of Pentacles also came out for you at the beginning. So that's most recently. Your overall energy during this time frame here, we have the Queen of Discs. So more Pinnacle energy here, that Queen of Discs here. So... Some of you could be becoming a mother. Some of you could be becoming a grandparent, um, mother or father, grandparent. This isn't gender specific, so however it shows up for you. But I do feel like coming together with people that you love and people who love you. This with this uh, this queen of dis energy is giving me. So you're bringing people together or people are supporting you or people are around you in some sort of way celebrating. I'm going to see what's coming up around this. I feel like somebody could be watching you as well, seeing what you're doing, that energy, because I'm hearing a peekaboo. So what maybe this could be you playing with children, your grandchildren, um, it doesn't matter. But that peekaboo energy also gives me like someone sort of peeping in, sort of popping in and out and seeing what you're doing here. Four of Cups, remember we pulled the Four of Pentacles here. So it may be something that you're not really focused on right now, but Spirit is trying to offer you a message and insight around something here, Pisces. Prince of Pentacles. I feel an energy of some of you are um, trying, you're trying to conceive. So whether that is birthing a child, like conceiving a child or conceiving a new project or idea, I feel like that is really coming up for you. So some of you have been in a place of feeling confused about which direction to go in. There's been a lot on your mind, a lot on your plate, which is why that Nine of Swords was here of saying that you've been stressed out and maybe anxious and maybe even feeling depressed at, at times and having insomnia and things keeping you up because it feels like a heaviness that has been over you, that has been on you, Pisces. But I do feel an energy of you coming out of that. Spirit is asking you to pray more, to tune in more, meditate a little bit more um, because there's a message that is waiting for you. There's a message that you have been waiting for and you've been asking for the signs, but um, Spirit is asking you to be quiet. Okay, so that's what I'm feeling. Now to get into this Prince of Pentacles energy, this may be someone coming in and helping you. So this could be someone investing in you, investing in a project with you or a business partner. This could even be a new partner that could be, that could be coming in, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Someone who is really grounded. They're very savvy. Um, they, they got their, I feel like they already have some of the things that you are looking to attain and so they're able to guide you on this new journey of what whatever this is that you're seeking here so we have the queen and the and the queen and the prince okay so it could be two people that could be coming into your life 
that is helping you. Um, you could be receiving some sort of financial assistance from a mother or father, from an uncle, cousin, whoever. You know, this could just be uh, some a business, a new business partner, but someone who believes in you, believes in your service, believes in your product, just believes in you in general here, Pisces. And um, I'm, I'm getting like a Capricorn energy because I know that Pisces and Capricorn, if a Pisces is going to date an earth sign, Capricorn is the ideal. Capricorn would be the ideal earth sign for a Pisces. So that energy I'm picking up for you as well, that there could be someone that a suitor that could be coming in for you as well. Let's pull one more here. The princess of cups, your energy. So yeah. So we have the princess in the, in the, the print, the prince and the princess. So <laughs> I'm feeling someone is coming towards you and you're going towards them as well. But this may be, I'm feeling with the four of cups, maybe something that you least expect or a person that you least expect to be, to be attracted to in some sort of way. So it feels like you've been asking for something here, Pisces and spirit is offering you some, a cup of love, but some of you may not be fully open to it, or you may not, you may not think it's the person that it really is, if that makes sense. So there could be someone in your space already that um, you could be developing a friendship or some sort of or a relationship, intimate relationship with whatever this is. It's some sort of bond that you're that you're building with someone, whether this person is already here in your space, in your circle, or just somewhere near in the vicinity. It could be a mutual friend that could be coming in. Or this is, um, you know, like I said, a friendship that you could be developing. So someone that's near or someone that is coming in is what I'm trying to say. So that's what that feels like overall. Someone could also be hooking someone up as well. Okay, so there could be new love that is coming in for you, Pisces. That new love could be, you know, could show up in love with love for someone or love for um, a new idea or a business venture that you may have. So whatever this is, it's definitely a new start that is coming up for you in your overall energy. I'm going to pull a divine timing around this to get <clears throat> to see what spirit is saying here. Let's see. Let's see one card on when this person can be entering into Pisces life. in august okay so something that you're manifesting that could be coming up in um in august and the bottom of the deck is release any attend any attachment to timing okay so but there is something i feel like it's in the works for you pisces that is um there's some sort of transition and maybe in august this whatever this is has fully blossomed because i'm feeling a spring energy now so maybe between spring and august there's something that um, is blossoming for you, a new relationship or a new business, um, making money, whatever this is, it is blossoming, okay? So obstacles that lie ahead for you, we have the chariot here. So some of you could be moving, it's cancer energy, some of you could be moving on from something, moving on from someone, I'm hearing even moving on from something that was old that you've been holding on to. So this could be a relationship here, Pisces, or this is um, an energy, um, <laughs> excuse me, of an idea or a business that you're just, you're leaving. So some of you could be retiring. Some of you are quitting, maybe even getting fired for some of you. I mean, it can come, come up in different ways, but I do feel like this may feel like an obstacle at the time of it happening for you here. I do feel like there's going to be some tears that come up around this and it's just a shedding of what is no longer serving you. So it may, may feel a little harder um, heartbreaking for some of you in the moment, but I do feel like it is going to be a temporary emotion, two of swords. Some of you may be blinded by something, so there may be something that come out of, that comes out of the blue that's going to force you to go in a direction that you have been asking for, Pisces, because I do feel that old energy, outdated energy that's coming up for some of you that you are currently stuck in. And some of you could be complaining about a job, you know, in a, you're in a dead end job and you're not making enough or you just don't love it. And the universe provides a way for you. And sometimes that, that, that provide is something along the lines of you getting fired or you being injured and taking time off and then realizing like, hey, I don't want to go back now that I've had time away from it. I've stepped back and now really I've tapped into myself. I've taken the time to heal. 
I don't want to go back. So there's something here, Pisces, whatever this is, this is a thing that's going to play out for you because it is the chariot. It's a major thing for you. So it makes me feel like spirit is opening up a new door for you. And it may feel challenging at the time. The Hierophant ener energy is here as well. So this could be something. This could be a lawsuit for some of you. I don't know how that's going to show up, okay, where you have to go to a ju judicial system, um, whatever you're taking, you're moving on from. For some of you, this could be a relationship where you're splitting assets or, or something like that, or there has been a challenging time in a relationship and you're needing to seek counsel. Some of you have been stuck, you've been feeling blinded, like there's a lot of love for someone, there's a lot of love for something, but you're unclear about what you need to do next, okay? So some of you are needing a facilitator to help you on which steps to take next. And it's not that they're choosing for you, Pisces. They're just helping you gain the clarity that you need to move forward in whatever this is that you're wanting to move forward in. Queen of Swords energy is here as well. An energy of you setting this boundary and moving forward. Some of you need to speak your truth and really talk about what it is that you really want. This is a great week too. Um, dur during the coming up on March 10th, um, there is going to be a full moon, I mean, a new moon in Pisces. So this is a new, this is a new start. Okay. So you have this new window to start to begin something new here, Pisces. So what is it going to be? Some of you are needing to talk about something, express yourself in some sort of way. Self-love is coming up for you as well. And remember at the beginning, I did say artistry. So I do feel like you're expressing yourself in some sort of way. So maybe that could be singing, it could be writing for some of you. Some of you could be talking, motivational speaking, or these are things that you could be um, needing to hear. Okay, so maybe someone is painting something for you or singing to you or speaking to you. But I do feel because we have the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords here, this is a lot of communication that's coming up. And for some of you, it may feel uncomfortable, but I feel like it's going to give you direction with the chariot here. You're going to know how to move forward in this, okay? Where you're headed during this time is the Three of, three of Cups. And yes, Pisces, let's do it because it is birthday season. Those of you that are celebrating your birthday in March, Make sure you put your birthday down below so that we can show you some love on all, all my March Pisces here. I'm March 15th, so happy early birthday to all you guys out there. But put your birthday down below so we can show you some love. But where you're headed is celebrating this month. So some of you have been feeling like you've been down and out and feeling like you've been in the dark. Um, just in general, you have not been around a lot of people and you're wanting to celebrate and you wanted to bring people to you want to bring people together to celebrate you and there's nothing wrong with that and i think you should absolutely do it um i just posted a reading for on my bonus channel my pisces bonus channel for the week of march 4th through march 10th 10th and it is a week of healing it's a week in investing week of investing in yourself feeling happiness being surrounded by people who love you and people who celebrate you so this is where you're headed during this time Time frame. It feels like a 180 that some of you are doing. I know I said in February that for some of you, February was like your new year. For some of you, your birthday season is, is your new year. It's like your new start. It's, it's a birth date, like you're birthing something new on your birthday. So this is a great time to really um, invest in that energy. Let's see what's coming up. Why is this three of cups here? So definitely celebrations that are coming up. I'm also feeling traveling for some of you. I'm also feeling a new spark, a new energy with someone as well, because I'm looking at the fireworks in the back. Um, so there is some sort of new spark that you're going to have here, Pisces. We have that two of wands energy that is that came out that came out for you. And this two of wands, it actually um, it this card actually came out. It fell on the ground, and I'm going to take it. So I'm going to take it upright, but I'm going to take it as it fell out. It actually fell out reversed. And this, this two of wands is about um, fearing what, what is to come. Okay. So fearing change and you're trying to play it safe and downplay things and you're, you're not, not planning accordingly. So make sure that, make sure Pisces that during this time frame that you are very aware and alert about your steps. Okay. You're not in control of what is going to happen, but at least, at least, you know, do your prayer, your meditation and, and have a, you know, have, 
have a plan sort of of where you're going and, and set an intention. Let me just say set an intention because the new moon in Pisces is going to be all is all going is going to be about setting intentions. So getting very clear around what that is, okay? Because some of you have not been great planners, Pisces, and you know we're all guilty of that because we can live in a very um, escapism energy and we could be very free flowing and just you know things come and go as they please and you know there's really no plan but the spirit is asking you to be a little bit more practical and set set something goals or plans whatever that it, whatever it is it doesn't have to be a whole list of things but i do feel like setting an intention and i'm also hearing for you to write it down so because there's so many things that's going on in your head pisces that you can lose easily lose track of what intention you set. So make sure you write this down and it's something that you're seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. The King of Swords energy is here. So remember, we just had the Queen. But this is you using your gift of perception. This, one makes, this is why I feel that some of you are headed towards... Um, channeling or bringing in something new in your life or a manifestation is coming to life and i feel like some of you are feeling this you are you are feeling this mental clarity that is going to be coming up for you because you've been bogged down by stress and anxiety and finances um but the stress has really been taken over some of you here pisces so i do feel like there is some mental clarity that is definitely coming in for you and I feel like there's a place where you're going to, uh, a time where you're going to not be in your head so much that you're really going to really be feeling from a, from your heart space, which I really love that. Queen of Pentacles is here, a lot more Pentacles energy. So we have the King and the Queen. So this definitely makes me feel that you have to be very specific about your intention. Write that down, see it every day, look, you know, so that, so that you can see it every day, put it somewhere where you can see it every day, because what it is that you're going to be put, targeting your in, your energy towards, that intention towards, is going to manifest is what I'm feeling with, with that Queen of Pentacles. So make sure that that manifestation or that intention is something that you are ready for because it is going to be a very, very potent time for you to be able to step into this, manifest this into your physical paradigm and really, you know, ride the wave of whatever this is, okay? So be very, very clear about what you want your intention to be during this Pisces new moon on March 10th, okay? What's coming towards you is um, the Nine of Swords. This energy off the bat, I just feel like it's gossip. I feel like it's stuff outside of you. I don't even feel like this is, it, could, it can be you, but it definitely feels like an external energy that I'm feeling. I'm going to pull some cards around that. Um, but remember, we pulled the Nine of Swords um, earlier, but this feels like nightmares. And I feel like some of you, and I feel emotional about it because some of you are transitioning from a conscious, a deep cellular level. Things from the past are coming up and it may be magnified in your dream state. That's what this feels like, where it feels like it's hurtful and you're, you begin questioning things. Um, star energy here, Aquarius. So I do feel like there's a lot, an opportunity for a lot of healing to come up. A lot of things for you to pour out, pour into. Some of you need to talk to someone or talk about something. And maybe some of you are talking about this with a counselor or a healer, whoever this is. But there is something that you need to let go of here that may be coming up. It may be lingering and it may be playing out in your dream state, Pisces. Let's see. We have the sun. Wow, two major arcanas, the star and the sun. So this feels very ethereal, ethereal for me. You know, it feels like you're... Do you're having lucid dreams? Some of you are taking crazy journeys during your dream state, and you feel like I'm awake and I'm really experiencing these things. This is an opportunity that's coming towards you, Pisces, to set your intentions, say a prayer before you go to bed, and really ask your angels and guides to heal you during this process, to heal you so that when you awaken in the in the morning, you don't take any of that that you had experienced during that journey, that you're slowly chipping away at whatever it is that has been bothering you, that has been stressing you out, or has been holding you down because it feels like it has been layers of things. Some of you are feeling things in your body because you're feeling heavier. You're also feeling heavier weight-wise, like physically. 
it, it, it just feels like an emotional and a physical heaviness that some of you have been carrying around. And there's an opportunity during your dream state to release this with your guides and your angels. But I do feel like you're going to be fine. I'm hearing be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. And there's a happiness. There's a really, really beautiful happiness on the other side of you healing and moving past whatever traumas that you have just recently experienced. We have the five of wands. Yeah, so there definitely feels like you've been battling with thoughts or battling with people. So <clears throat> these are emotions because it's a five of wands. The five of swords, I feel like it's a lot of thoughts. But the five of wands, I feel like it's on a really deep conscious level. So I feel like there's there's things that have been bogging you down. Even depression is coming up right now. It felt really intense. I feel like it took away from you, Pisces. But there's an opportunity that's coming towards you to let all of this go. That nine of swords energy, like I said, it feels like uh, gossip. It feels like things outside of you. But I do feel like, Pisces, you have been moving past this energy. But there are things that are still lingering. I feel like it comes up in your dreams or it comes up in your thoughts here and there. Because emotionally, it really needs to be cleared out. So this is also even an opportunity for you to seek some sort of counseling or go get some body work in order to... Um, move past this and fully heal whatever this is okay and it may be because there could be people resurfacing or like i said thoughts resurfacing that keeps prolonging your healing process all right so what's happening in your near future we have the six of swords okay so you're going to be moving past whatever that is i'm feeling anger that's coming up depression that's coming up as i scared said fear being scared, being afraid to move on, all of that stuff is coming to an end here. Seven of Wands energy. You no longer have to defend yourself, defend your character, what I'm hearing, Pisces. You're going to move past that. You're going to be able to operate in your Pisces energy. If you don't like it, get the F out, is what I'm hearing. So if you don't, if someone doesn't like it, they can get the F out, is what I'm hearing your energy say, okay? Because this, I feel like taking going back to what's coming towards you is like a people pleasing energy or trying to heal and trying to ex, you know expand yourself in so many ways and help so many people and be this to this person and that that you've depleted yourself and this is why some of you have been feeling exhausted depressed and a lot of this isn't even yours it's because you've taken on so much pisces emotionally spiritually like spiritually like for lifetimes for your whole life for decades for some of you but this has been something that has just been lingering on a cellular level for you and this is a time for you to transition and some of you are feeling this transition that is happening in your body like you're like what the hell is going on here like why am i in pain so that energy is now come to the surface now that you're feeling it in your body now you're more aware of it so you're able to do something about it okay so I definitely feel like you get to just show up and be yourself. The judgment card is here. That card for me feels like making the call or in stepping away from judgment, stepping out of relationships and stepping out of environments where you feel judged or you were judged, letting go of people because you have history with them. It's the reason why it's history. You don't have to hold on to that's not who you are anymore, Pisces. You're moving past that with the Six of Swords. Things are changing. You're moving into calmer waters. Some of you are going to need a facilitator to help you through this, whether that is a counselor, energy healer, whatever. You're going to need someone to help you through this. But most importantly, it is your spirit guides and angels and really tapping into your prayer and meditation so that you can move past this energy because it is very important right now. This is the time, Pisces. If you want 2024 to be to look up for you, if you want the rest of this Pisces season to be lit for you, then you are going to have to let go. Okay, easier said than done, but I think your body is tired and it's now warning you that it's ready to go. Like it's ready to just leave that your energy field, the death card. Look at that. The judgment and the death. You have to, have to make a decision to let things go. Let people go, let these emotions go, let these thoughts go. The thoughts are always going to be there lingering, but as long as the thoughts aren't becoming debilitating. So it is time for you to transform. You're transforming already. So that's what's happening in your near future. Things are going to start looking a little differently. And I feel I'm hearing spirits say things are going to be looking brighter because some of you have been in a dark place. 
whether you have still had moments of happiness and you can put up a facade and you can, you know, you, you can, I wanted to say river, but I don't think that's the word, but you want, you can be in, you can adapt to different energies where if it's a happy environment, you can pull from that energy because you are a sponge Pisces. If you're in negative energy, you can pull from that energy, but I feel like you can put up a facade. You can put your, your ish aside to be there for other people, but some of you are not fully dealing with what you need to deal with. And so this is an opportunity to do that, to, to heal, to make the decision to say, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing, I can't be this to you anymore. I can't be this to that person anymore. I have to be this for myself because some of you are feeling really tired. So things are changing. You're mo definitely moving on from quite a few things. Your advice for the month here, Pisces, your advice is the Six of Pentacles coming up for you. So this feels like charitable energy. Success is um, is what you should be focused on. And what, how do you define success? For some of you, it is a financial thing where you are and um, your financial status is defines success for you. Whatever it is, there's no judgment on how you define success, but get clear around what makes you feel successful so that you can get 100% happy, Pisces. Let's clarify this. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Success. So for some of you here, Pisces, you're about what, what brings you happiness. Part of what brings you happiness is having money. It's feeling like you can come and go as you please. You can travel. You can go out to nice dinners. Pisces, we know that when you go out, when you get out, you want to get dressed. You want to look nice. You want to smell good. You want to do lavish things. That is just your character, Pisces. You are go big, go big or go home kind of energy when you're in the space to do it. Okay, so it feels like you're going to splurge. And, and Spirit is saying splurge if you have it. Invest in yourself. Splurge. Take a trip. Okay. Be with people, be celebrated, like have a, have a good time. And this is confirmation for me because I was like, I don't really want to do anything for my birthday. And I always celebrate my birthday. And I'm like, I don't know, this year is kind of hitting a little different. And I'm like, this is my confirmation as well. Go do something, travel, enjoy yourself. Don't just, you know, celebrate you, Pisces. Okay. Celebrate you. You'll find success and happiness in that temperance energy is here. Sagittarius. <laughs> excuse me so this is saying like you i feel like your guides and angels are pointing you in the direction of pouring into yourself really pouring into something that makes you happy that brings you a level of success even if success for, for you is finishing your to-do list or feeling accomplished for the day whatever that is find some inspiration is what spirit is saying find something that's going to inspire you on a day-to-day -day basis it it could be the smallest thing pisces but to something that can get you through the day I, and i love doing that i've been doing that since i was a teenager always finding something for me sometimes it's like oh i can't wait to have that glass of wine later we know we're pisces we like to drink like fish okay <laughs> So finding something that that can inspire you to get through the day, okay? If it's if you can't see into the week and the month and the year, get find something that inspires you to get through the day. Is what Spirit is saying. The Nine of Pentacles. I mean, Pisces, you have so many that the Pentacle energy here is so abundant because it's reminding you that your manifestations are coming to fruition. This is, a, we, uh, I feel like I've been reading after reading and even listening to other readers. We talk about Pisces, the, the money, the amount of money that's coming to you, the amount of abundance. I mean, whatever abundance is for you in your energetic field, like whatever that level is, is going to bring you happiness. But there is a level of feeling independent, feeling happy, feeling um, like you've grown, moving past, things that just it's not filling up your cup anymore but i definitely feel like pisces this is an energy of you being able to invest in yourself and financially invest in yourself we've talked about self-love and all of those things but financial wealth like wealth coming into your life and wealth is not just just finances we're talking about it's an abundance of well-being of emotional physical mental 
financial stability, spiritual stability here. And you're going to get all of that, okay? And I do feel because the temperance is here, I feel like it's a guardian angel. I feel like your guardian angel is seeing to it that that happens for you, Pisces, because you've been putting in the time and the effort. You have to move out of whatever energy that you're currently in if it's not suiting you right now, okay? So that is your advice. Your final outcome here, Pisces, is the eight of swords, Okay, so this is an energy of interference. There may be something or someone trying to block you. The devil is a lie and the devil can show up. And I hate even using the devil, but that energy can show up in the form of people, too. So watch who you keep in your circle as well. Some people are some people don't want to see you win, whether they are conscious about it or not. If people are hating on you, Pisces, you don't need them in your space. Okay, you only want to be places where you're celebrated, not tolerated. We have the Seven of Pentacles coming back out for you. Okay. Well, I don't think it came out earlier, but I think it came out in another reading, another Pisces reading. So I may be getting that mixed up. But definitely something that you have been working on, somebody wants to try to interfere in some sort of way. And that also could be you interfering. That self-sabotage coming up for you, Pisces, because you can easily get there where you're feeling trapped and those negative thoughts come up. And then you find yourself in a downward spiral. Spiral, so these self-imposed restrictions where you feel like the victim, the victim mentality comes up, you feel in prison, you're, in, you're trapped, you know, when you're feeling powerless, some of you may be surrounded by, I'm hearing, so change the energy in your environment is what I'm hearing. Some of you may need to be, need to declutter, you need to smudge, um, you need to make sure who's in and out of your house as well. It definitely feels like it definitely feels like an energy that could be trapped, which could leave you trapped in your thoughts in some sort of way. And I'm a firm believer that smudging your home, cleansing that energy out will give you mental clarity as well. You are a product of your environment and your environment is a product, product of your mental stability. Okay, so the alchemist is here. So there's going to be something that you're creating, like something big, Pisces. I feel like I want to get up and be like, yes, we, I did it. Okay, yes, I did it. I worked at it. I, I've put in the time and energy. I've grown a lot of things. I've grown myself. And now it's finally popping. That's it's what, it's what I feel with that. The world, look at that. Life is about to look different for you. Whatever it is that you've been wanting to manifest is about to come to full, full fruition for you, Pisces. So this is your final outcome. I'm going to leave it at that. The magician and the world. You have definitely been working on something, and now it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. But don't let whatever is trying to block you, trying to get in your way, do not let that stop you because you are a king. You are a queen, Pisces, and no one can get in the way with that. You have the power. The power resides within you, even if you feel weak in this moment, Pisces. Get through it because you always do. Get through it because on the other side, you're creating a whole story that everybody's about to watch. Okay, the glow up is real. Okay, that is your reading, Pisces. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, share this with your family and friends. Be sure to check out that Pisces bonus channel so you don't miss your uh, new moon in Pisces reading that is coming up on March the 10th. Love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in, Pisces. Enjoy yourself. Put your birthday below. Happy birthday to my March Pisces. I'll see you guys very soon. Many blessings and love and light, guys. Peace.